Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 5. We're continuing with the variant Sudokus with a Neighbor Sums Sudoku. This puzzle was worth 30 points at the time and was um, created by Branko Saranik. So um, looking forward to this one because this is actually a constraint that we've seen recently. So... Um, there is um, a couple of years ago, we started seeing a few puzzles around. I haven't seen any in about a year using the sum dots constraint. And this is basically the sum dots constraint, um, except it's from 10 years ago. So what I'm loving is we're coming up, we're seeing a lot of people say, oh, this is a nice new constraint. And when you look into puzzle history, people were doing it 10 years ago. We just haven't been looking back. I'm, I'm loving going into the history of these puzzles. And I'm hoping creators are looking at this series and going, hmm. Anyway, so uh, Neighbor Sums Sudoku. So I'm noticing the trend is continuing um, with this. This puzzle has F6 in it. I still don't know what the F means, but that's the way it works. So how do the rules work? Normal Sudoku rules apply in every box, in every row, and in every column. The digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And some end edges are marked with the sums of the digits in the adjacent cells. So those two cells will sum to 12, those two will sum to 8, those two will sum to 13. Now there is this question mark here, which means that these will sum to something, and I'm assuming that is done just so that we can have the 6 in the grid which is perfectly fine. Doing things like that to give you a cosmetic theme in the grid, I'm glad to see that they were doing it in competitions as well. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my time. Let's give this a shot. So two digits that sum to five, these have to be one, two, three, or four, but these digits have to sum to 12. So if this was a one, this would have to be 11. So that can't be one, that can't be four. If this is a two, this would have to be 10. So this can't be two and this can't be three. But this one, two, well, four means that this is eight and three means that this is nine. So this is eight or nine. One or two, I'm going to just work through the F. One here means this is nine and two here means this is eight. Nine here means this is three and eight here means this is four. And this can't be a four because if this is a four in order to sum to eight, this would also have to be a four. So this is three, nine, one, four, eight. Beautiful. Three means that this is five. Five to get to 11 means this is six. Three to get to nine means this is six. And six to get to eight means that that is two. Beautiful. Okay. Now to get to 13, actually there's multiple ways of doing that. I think I want to start on this six because the only ways of doing six is one plus five or two plus four. They're the only ways of doing it because the next option would be three plus three, which you can't do in two cells that see each other. Now this can't be a five, so this can't be a one. Um, so they're the possibilities. Now, which way do we want to go? Well, this can't be a two, or this would have to be 11. So there's no two here and there's no four here. So we're down to two options. Now a four here would mean this would have to be a nine. A five here would mean this have to be an eight and it can't be. So we end up with nine, four, nine plus two is 11, two plus six is eight, Four plus two is six, two plus eight is 10, eight plus four is 12, four plus three is seven, two plus seven is nine, seven plus six is 13, six plus five is 11, and five plus one is six. And this question mark turned out to be a four. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Now I have to do some Sudoku, less lovely. Four, four, four is in one of those two, but this four is looking up saying that's not the four, so this is the four. Um, <laughs> so this can't be one nine or four six. So this is either two eight or three seven. I am going to mark that. Can I do similar down here? This could be nine four. It can't be eight five and it can't be seven six. So this is nine four. Okay. Sudoku. Need to let's look for Sudoku. So three and three means three is in one of those two. Let's mark this triple, in fact, because these are one, seven, and nine. There's no seven there, there's no nine there. Four, where's four? Four, four puts four in one of those two. That four says not there. This is a four. So four is in one of those two. So now I can ask the question, where is four in this row? Because four can't be here because of the four nine, four can't be here because of that four, and four can't be in those because of the two fours looking down. That is a four. 
So we've got a quadruple here. Where's nine in this row? Maybe not. But five is in one of those three. I am going to mark it, though I don't like that as a piece of logic yet. This can't be a seven, so this can't be a three. What's this triple? One, two, three, five, seven. Well, there's no seven there. And there's no five there. So this is a three, seven. This is a three or seven in the row, which means this can't be three, seven, or that would have no fill. So this isn't three, seven. This is two, eight. Nice. Like it. What can I do with it? Well, two is in one of those two now, and this is a two, eight pair because I can't put two or eight in any of those and none of those are two, eight. So this is a two, eight pair, but that means eight is down here with four and that's a four, eight pair. Right. So where's eight in this row? It's in one of those two. It's true. Is it helpful? Well, this is a one or a seven to complete the box, which means this is the three, which takes three out of both those, which makes that the five and that the seven. Right. I, I like this. This is good. Okay. This is a known pair because one, two, three, four, five, seven are the two digits I haven't placed. And I can resolve that using that seven, making that the five and that the seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, nine. Nice. Um, don't see how to resolve them. In this column, I have yet to place a six or a nine, also nice, but this time I've got a six looking across, making that the nine and that the six. These, well, six has to go in one of those two by Sudoku now, and this six is looking down saying not there. So that's a six. But I think I want to put this triple in. Three, seven, eight. Well, there's no seven there. There's no eight there. What is this triple? It's 137, isn't it? It is. It's 137. So that's not helped me a huge amount. Okay. Need to find something else. Because I've done all the dots now. Normally, yeah, okay. It's a competition puzzle. If this was a normally presented puzzle, I'd go, eh, not a fan of something where the constraints just sort of aren't part of the puzzle. They resolve themselves like in the first 30 seconds, and then it's just a classic. I don't like calling that a variant Sudoku. It's basically just a classic Sudoku with a different way of presenting it. But this has been fun. I've liked it. Because um, it's a competition puzzle, and competition puzzles, you've got to look at it a different way. There's no seven there, there's no seven there. So this is the seven in the row, so this is the one. Okay. I missed that, but I got it now. So, is it this column? No, there's too many digits. This column, one, three, five, eight. So eight is down here. Right. So in this column, eight is down here. So this can't be an eight. This is a three, seven pair. This is an eight. So one, three, five, eight. And, oh no, I could put five there. But it got me the eight thing. So that's good. Oh, the four, nine is looking up saying that's the one and that's the nine. That was way more obvious. So in this column, I haven't put two, three or six. So this can't be two or six. So that's a three and I can take three out of both of those. I could have done that just using that three, but I got there a different way. The six is looking across, making that the two and that the six. The two is looking back, making that the eight and that the two. This is a triple, five, seven, and nine. And there's already a five in column seven. So there's, this is the five. This is a seven, nine, which means this is a pair, which seems to be one and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And this three means this is the one, this is the three. We're now down to pairs in boxes. Two, seven, not seeing how to resolve that yet, but eight, nine, not seeing how to resolve that yet either. It'll happen eventually. Okay. Now, um, yeah, it'll happen eventually. Just not yet. This seven makes this the three and this the seven, which takes seven out of those. And now possibly this box eight is in one of those two. And that eight is saying not there. So that's the eight, which by pencil marks tells me that's the three. And these are one and five. But the seven makes that the nine and that the seven, making progress. Slow, steady progress. 
this column maybe because I've looked at this one and didn't find much. In here, I need to put one, two, five, and six. So this is one, two, or six. There's no six down here and there's no six here. This is a six because I can't put six in those because there's already a six in the box. Yeah, where's six? Just six by Sudoku is there, making that the nine and that the six. The nine looks across making that the eight and that the nine. The eight looks back making that the two and that the eight. And now I can do more work in here. So I need to put a one in one of these two. I need to put a two in one of these two, but the two is looking up, making that the two. So this row is missing a five. So these are a one, three pair. And the three is looking up, making that the one and that the three. The one is looking down, making that the five and that the one. And now everything is coming together because those two fives are saying those aren't fives. That's a five. In this column, I have not put a two, which makes this a seven and this a two. This column, I've not put a one or an eight. That seems correct. How do I resolve this? Oh, the three makes that the one and that the three. The one looks back making that the eight and that the one. The eight looks across making that the four and that the eight. The four looks across making that the nine and that the four. In this box, I have yet to put a seven or a nine and I'll use that nine to say that can't be a nine. So that's the seven and that's the nine. And that is the correct solution to the puzzle. Nine minutes, 33 for a 30 point puzzle. Ex world champions would be trying to solve it in three minutes and people who are trying to be competitive. I'm taking about one and a half or about three times world champion time. Okay. I mean, it's probably actually longer than that, but that's the time rate I was given. Even if you say it's four or five or 12, I don't care. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy for there to be like all of you being faster than me. That's cool. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the puzzle series and as always, good luck with your solving.